Hey guys, happy Saturday. Welcome back to my channel. This morning we are going to make a very low carb breakfast. Actually, no carb breakfast to be honest. We have two slices of bacon that I cut in half to make um, a couple of little slices. I like that the way uh, it comes out best when you cut them in half. I don't know. I'm just a weirdo like that. Uh, and then in the skillet, I have three eggs that I like over easy. And uh, the bacon that I use, I buy from Trader Joe's. I think you've seen this many, many times before. It's one of my favorites. Two slices have 60 calories, and I believe I turned this over to show you. Yes. Delicious. I love it. Go buy it. It's the most flavorful bacon I have ever had, truthfully. And what I like to do with the bacon grease, I want to show you this little hack. I saw it online. If you take some hot grease and you put it in a bowl that's lined with foil, you can let the grease cool off inside this. And then when you're done, um, when you're done, when it cools off, you can crumple up that foil and just throw it in the garbage. So your pan doesn't have that greasy mess afterwards. It's just a great little hack I saw online and I figured I would share it with you. Let me know in the comments below if you guys do this or what you do with your hot bacon grease. All right, so here's the plate of breakfast when it was done and I couldn't wait to dive into it. But as I was looking at it, I started thinking, let me hard boil some eggs. And I have this little dash egg cooker. It's the best little thing. I got it on Amazon. Um, but I hard boiled some eggs so I could keep them in the fridge or if I decide to use them for another meal or whatever, they're just a quick, easy, grab and go little something. And there's my plate again. And I was gonna make some coffee, but I chose not to. So let's move on to lunch. Here it is, guys. I did use some of those eggs. I made some egg salad. And I just took some asparagus that I bought at Trader Joe's um, in the little bag and I keep it in the fridge. And this way when I want some, I just pull it out. And here's what the bag looks like. Um, they're just frozen. So all you have to do is just leave that bag in the fridge, like I said, and you dip into it. So this was lunch, one tablespoon of mayo, some salt, some pepper, some onion powder, a little bit of asparagus on the side. And as you can see, they're just the little tiny, skinny, skinny ones, which is the kind I like best. I don't like the big, fat, thick pieces of asparagus. Um, and that's it for lunch. So since we are going very low carb or no carb today, I do like to have this electrolyte powder on hand. This is by Dr. Berg. If you've never heard of him, check him out on YouTube. He's phenomenal. But as you can see, there's a ton of potassium in one of these little scoops. I think there's a thousand milligrams. So when you are doing very low carb keto or whatnot, you just put the uh, one of those scoops into a tumbler, just like I have right next to it here. And I'm gonna show you what it looks like inside. It's just a little fine grain powder, it's electrolytes. It's so good for you and this will keep you from getting a headache and that, that flu that you get when you're really low on carbs. That's what it looks like. And I just put it in the tumbler with ice water and I drink it and it's just, it, it's the saving grace. And this is my favorite one because of all of the ones on the market, this one has the highest potassium count. So try it out. Hey guys, okay, so we, Brittany and I are actually out um, doing some errands and we are here at Chopped. Brittany is eating an amazing looking salad, but as you saw this morning, I'm doing keto today. I am taking a day off of the five and one. And why you may ask, well, we are going out tonight to celebrate my nephew's birthday and we're going to a restaurant and actually Cheesecake Factory because it's kid friendly and they have a really nice large menu. Um, and it's just, I just feel like I want to, right? So. This morning you saw my breakfast and my lunch and it is now almost four o'clock in the afternoon. I have no hunger. When you are trying to steer off, maybe because you're on vacation or whatnot, you really don't want to eat anything you want if you are a struggler like I am when it comes to carbohydrates. You want to stick with lean protein, fatty protein if you need something to keep you full longer. and stay away from all of the sugar and the processed carbohydrates. So uh, I have my big jug of water here, which is where my cell phone is on top of. And so yeah, so we're out and about and the hunger, the cravings, nothing is happening. So it's gonna be a great day. 
We went to Express. Oh my God, guys, I found the most adorable top. Here's Brittany's salad. I found the most adorable top. It's very boho. Just what I like here. I'm gonna hold it up and show you. It, it may not look amazing right now, but when you, when I put it on, it has these really nice balloon sleeves and smocking. Look at this. Look at the sleeves. And it's a little bit cropped, so it's gonna hit just at the top of my pants. It's just such a pretty blouse. And I'm excited to wear it. So, just wanted to say hello in between all of this. The next time you see me will probably be after I get dressed later, I'll show you the outfit. Um, and then we're gonna head out for dinner and I will show you what we're having. And I will just continue on with the day. We're gonna be heading actually to Target because we gotta go pick up a birthday gift for him. Um, what do you get for a nine-year-old little boy? I don't know. Somebody help me. I gave you one. Under your... I want to split it. No. I did. I had one for everyone. Where's mommy's? Brittany's. That's mine. That's mine. Right there. Like mac and cheese. The mac and cheese burger is amazing. It has mushrooms. Hi, Jess. That's Here's dinner guys, grilled asparagus and a lettuce wrap burger. This was Swiss cheese, mushrooms, and a little bit of coleslaw inside. So nice and low carb, still sticking with the keto theme for the day. And this is how I wound down my day. I am absolutely satisfied and it was absolutely delicious. Hey guys, okay, so we are back from the big birthday celebration. As you saw, I had a delicious dinner and a wonderful night and I'm hoarse from screaming and laughing and just having a ball with the family. So anyway, that is how I do a day off of five in one. I stick basically like a keto, some really good protein, healthy fat, keeps me full, not hungry. And I just, I feel so good. So that was a day that I brought you into just, you know, not for any judgment purposes, just really to show you that you can transition off of five in one or have a cheat day. Sorry about the glasses in my hand. Um, but still stay on track where you're not gorging out on, you know, sweets and, and sugar and all that stuff. So if you do plan a day or maybe you didn't plan it and you want to have some foods that aren't on the five in one, then do something low carb. Um, keep yourself away from the junk because that is the killer of all, right? When we dive into things that aren't really healthy and fuel for the body. So anyway, here's that shirt that I got tonight. I know some of you were asking, I posted. I don't know if you can see, I wore it with. Um... So anyway, that's it guys. So I hope you have a wonderful day. Happy weekend. Tomorrow, Sunday, I will be heading out to the mall to try to find some um, new spring work clothes. And I guess that's about it. So I hope you enjoyed the video and I'll see you in the next one. Love you. Bye guys.